really love to see when I've played against Fawns. Zade has really great fireball play. He uses it as an approach option. So he'll like throw a fireball and then grab the shield and he'll start doing all of the Mario things after that. Of course. Uh, very so. good at baiting. Baiting and punishing. Love it. Up smash. Up, sma up smash. Up smash. See stick. See stick. That's this okay. Is, yeah. This is interesting. I mean, I like inherently would want to put this matchup in Mario's favor. But I, I just feel like Robin has the like unique tools that kind of keep him off his balance a little bit. You know what I mean? He has the projectile fight. Um, you know, he his jab is really good at catching. Um, I feel like Robin's up close options are just quick enough to help him help save him from like rogue smash attacks. Yep. You know what I mean? And definitely for sure, like one thing that's gonna definitely play in Scorpio's favor is that everybody knows the Mario matchup. Yep. Very few people know like all the intricate things about Robin. Especially when it comes to the tomes and the books and the Eleven Sword and how yep. long it takes for those things to run out and come back. Eleven Sword takes like I think it's seven or eight seconds to come back. Yeah. It's not it's not long at all. It, it really isn't. It's deceptive. And then suddenly he has it again. He hits you with an aerial and you're electrified. You're like, what's going on? All right. Um, so they opted for FD. Which I could see them striking to this. Like this makes sense. Like uh, oh. Robin's not going to want the platforms and such. So Scorpio okay. immediately having to burn through that Thoron yeah. when he gets caught with a fireball. And Fawn's getting, getting in for a little bit of damage, uh, but Scorpio's going to trade and trying to fight for his space right now. He's a little overwhelmed. Mario's definitely mm -hmm. certainly better at approaching, and you know Robin definitely has kind of the defensive tools to keep yep. up with it. Now I know uh, from what I talked to Scorpio about this matchup, the way he approaches Mario is extreme patience. Because Mario has a lot of good options he can throw out, but he says a lot of uh, Mario's get trigger happy, quote unquote, in which that they stop thinking about what they're doing all the time because their options are so good that he can down air, land, up smash like Fonz just did. But Scorpio is patient and held his shield. Uh, you know, Mario combos are certainly uh, a great thing, and one thing that I don't think Fonz is going to be prepared for are the Ooh. different are the different kill confirms that uh, Scorpio is going to have for yeah. Robin. Arc Fire and Arc Thunder into forward air, up smash. And Fonz is looking real good. This is not a player from Minnesota to sleep on at all. Has a very healthy lead. Higher stock and then some. Yeah, a little bit. Okay, good uh, spaced pair by Robin. Let's see if we can get some more. Yeah, I like the I like the B reverse uh, into the throw mix up. I want to see more of that from Scorpio. I want to see more command of the stage. There we go, weaving out of those fireballs, being like really smart about it. Soul's Not a little. <gasps> Ooh, okay, he's fine. That could have been really bad. Though. Could have been bad. <laughs> Thankfully, uh, Robin's recovery is very vertical. He has a lot of room to breathe in that regard. Good fair. That is going to be it off the top. Just enough. Nice. 80% deficit here. Yeah. So that is quite the lead for Mario, especially because he's only going to need, right. I don't know, 30 more percent before, yeah, before he can, start killing yep. anywhere. Beautiful Nosferatu, though. Great command grab. One thing that Rob has told me, uh, Scorpio, has said that Nosferatu, he uses it almost as a tool, not only just to get the health back and hurt his opponent. Oof. That was a really nice cape. Uh, but to <laughs> aggravate your opponent because you're stuck in there for so long. Exactly. And it also gets this like thought of, oh, he, is he just going to keep healing off these percents? And so you think that you're going to start losing your lead, and so you get antsy to get the kill. Exactly. And that's where like Mario puts you in this high-pressure situation where you can't really have room for mistakes, just like you're saying, Dane. You know, I, I feel like that's where it's, it's really hard to face Mario when you're in this situation where you're at the kill percent of any sort of like raw of smash. Or up smash, for that matter. Ooh. Okay, did not get the spike, but got the back hit. Fonz is looking really good right now. A really, Certainly in a good position, because Robin isn't wow. going to be able to kill for another 20% here. Playing so safe, just hitting Scorpio's shield and not taking any punish. Oh. Oh. What? Whoa. Oh, that was that, an interesting change. I think that Nair was supposed to be an up smash. And yeah. That was... Oh, jeez. Oh. That was right in front of his face. Life flashed before his eyes right there. Oh my, this is a really <laughs> dangerous situation. Oh, I like that. I like that option. Fawn staying safe still, being very aware. Ooh, oh, he wanted the... Throw. No, that's not enough. Robin's back throw isn't that great. All right, Robin's got that Levin Sword back. Covering that high option. Back here, not oh, going to do not it. Not quite. Very close. Oh, oh. That's oh, going to do it off the top. The max rage. 
Ooh, Robin coming in clutch. <laughs> the loving sword. So strong. Ooh. That was like, oh gosh. That's like when your unit's about to die in Fire Emblem and you get a critical. That was Robin showing off that game tech right there. I really wish I could sit here and tell you, oh, like Fawn's made a bunch of key mistakes, yeah. but uh, he, he just didn't hold on to shield at the last yeah, one. That was the, that, that that was, was the toss-up. Oh, my gosh. He was so close. And he was staying so safe, too. He just didn't commit to any hard reads that like got him the shock, that got him the game. Um, but to be fair, it's, it's Scorpio. It's very dangerous. Uh, he's, Scorpio's known for being a player that will punish you hard if you make a mistake. Like, that's Robin slow. Like, that's how Robin has to play. So it makes sense. But we can see Fonz has been, like, doing his research or something because he is all over this man right now. Truly a battle of the rivaling states. Good hook grab. Oh, Ooh, throws it up. Interesting. Oh, and it does cover the stage. I kind of see what he was going for there. Um, I like it. Now Good falling up there. Now he's got a little bit more of a lead. Uh, I'm, I'm certain Fonz doesn't know, but this is this is Scorpio's favorite stage. Scorpio loves this stage. It's so easy for him to command the space with his projectiles. I think that's also, like, he'll have an easier time. I kind of wish, like, Fonz would have ran it back. <gasps> Not Mario, it. Stop. Big damage though. <laughs> Please, Mario, stop being so good. Like, why am I worried that he's gonna die yeah. at 70? I don't know, but that was big damage, so that's still Ooh. key. Beautiful weight. Scorpio showing off that intense patience. Ooh, like just grabs grab. him. Such a good confirm. already. And here we go. We got Scor Scorpio. Looks a little bit more like himself right now. He's a bit more grounded. Grabs the book. Throws it down. Okay. I like that he chooses to throw it down to avoid the cave because he was ready for it. You definitely see that he feels way more comfortable with the platforms there. Yes. Oh, for sure. He, The way this man like runs platforms is really admirable to me because he's a Robin player. It's not a character you really typically think of as being aerial, but he makes it work. Uh, and certainly, he just has this big old layer of protection that like says, well, if Mario's going to down air here, he'll probably hit the platform first. Nice. And that's such a thing, too. Uh, Arc Thunder is so good at stopping approaches because either you take it or you shield, and then Robin can confirm his grab out of it. And this is a very different game from game one. Yeah, Arc this is, this is a, a clean lead right now, a full stock lead for Scorpio. It gets a little wet. That's fine. Oh, goes for the cheese. Oh, I think he gets the tech, but then he got hit again. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, we got the crowd on Mario's side. They, they want to see a game three really bad right now. Will he get it? Back throw. Nope. Oh. Now this is just, oh, good back air. But this is just kind of delaying the inevitable right now, I'm afraid. Scorpio just still looks like he has such control. One kill confirmed. But then again, you know, but Mario's got spikes. Mario has He can take you to the top. Beat. Yep. That's true. I don't want to count out Fonz quite yet. Mario has the comeback rules that's... Yes. Tools that some characters like Robin oh. kind of lack. He has the cape. Yeah. Oh, the, oh, beautiful B reverse by Scorpio. Great awareness coming down from the platform right into Mario's face. <gasps> oh no! Okay, oh we're okay. Fonz is so consistent at getting those. Okay, and here we are. We have a match, oh people. No. This is dangerous. <gasps> oh! Woo! Wow! <laughs> the comeback is ridiculous! Delaying the My inevitable gosh. of going to game three. Dane, remind me to never count someone out like that again. Jesus. Oh, my. What a comeback by Fonz. Taking game two. Can we, uh, I don't know, game <laughs> three? Like, he's looking real good still. I, could, I don't know. Get one more of those? Uh -huh. One more of those capes or uh, actually kill off the top? Uh. Oh, that could be rough for Scorpio. What is... Why? <laughs> Why? Why is this, Why is this so ha good? I mean, Sakurai was just like, you know what? Mario's been average in every game. I want him to be really good in this game. Just, like, just so good. A lot of characters have like one thing that can kind of like bring a game back. Exactly. You know, like Falcon and Donkey Kong are kind of like yeah. outliers of that. Yeah. And then Mario's got Spike, up He's air got kills, so many and then the cape. Those are flood three. cape. Yep. Yeah, flood too. Those are three, four tools that yeah. are just like. And by the way, I know you were winning, but um, yeah. my turn? But my turn? And we got a crowd right now watching this. This is an intense game three. And I do like uh, Scorpio's pick to just go back to Battlefield. He was looking a lot more comfortable uh, the sec whole second game. 
Um, just too good to t take it back. Which, and now that I think about it, Scorpio won game one, which means that Pons counterpicked him to Battlefield. So yeah. he definitely doesn't know. Right, which is so interesting to me, yeah. But it, it worked for him. <laughs> and, you know, maybe that's what he wanted, those um, taking, taking Scorpio to the ceiling like that. That's what he wanted. Oof. Oh, this might be it. <gasps> Continues with an up tilt. Okay. Oh, does not time it quite. Scorpio just taking his free punish. Yes. All right. Scorpio looking a little off kilter right now. This is very uncharacteristic. He, he seems to be retreating to defensive options a lot. He looks like very pressured in this situation. Man, it just wow! And the wow, rising down air. air. What a what a smart option. What a creative option by Fonz. Now that is something I really like to see a Mario player do is those sort of things, things you wouldn't expect. And I liked it too because he adapted in a way that he wasn't going for the typical off the top kill. He adapted, and he opted for a down air, and it worked. Oh, and that's not gonna do it quite yet. Yeah. Scorpio in a dangerous situation. Oh, the Levin Sword coming in clutch. Scorpio holding on to Thoron right yeah. now. Yeah. He won Oh! That, that was smart. That, it. that was smart. Uh Fonz, I don't think was expecting that to hit him by him releasing it so early. Oh, and he didn't get it confirmed because he dropped the book, but he grabbed the book and threw it anyway. So, you know, Robin just <laughs> never know what he's gonna do. Crazy guy. Always reading. <laughs> Always reading. What how many, a nerd. How, how many book clubs is he in? <laughs> so Jeez. many. Got like at least five different library cards. Probably Oof. drinking wine at home on Saturday. Yes. Yeah. He's that kid who read the entire Harry Potter series in like second grade. <laughs> All right. This is very close right now. 74, 72. Here we go. Grab confirm. He wants Ooh. the up air. That was a good wait, but he couldn't confirm it. Good DI by Fonz. Ooh. The fireball is yeah. extending the hurt. Oh. Yeah, that's interesting. I didn't think of that having utility, but Scorpio is showing it off. Man, very tight situation for both characters. Using the Levin Sword right here. Oof. I think Fawn needs to capitalize on the fact that Scorpio's kill options were just immediately. Yeah, injured. exactly. In this situation, and now this, he's got yeah. it. It was like, like we were saying yeah. right at the beginning. It is so much faster than you think. Yeah, it's go. <gasps> there, it's, not okay. off the top. Here we go. Wow. Wow. Oh my so gosh, so many, many power shields! <laughs> Jeez. And Scorpio just needs something, but he can't get it! <gasps> oh, oh my gosh, this is. Oh! That oh, thing catches the him! Coming up from the depths! That was such a good Ooh, set. Such a good set. That was a set. Of the day that that needs to be like in the top five sets of the day. That was so good. My heart is going. Talk about a great first match to commentate. Like, geez. and that was winners round two. Today. That was winners round two. two Get ready PR for members. more. Two PR six and six Minnesota Wisconsin. And Looks today like Minnesota, Minnesota takes it by the skim of their teeth. That was. Is it skin wow. of their teeth or skin of their teeth? And it's. Ah. Skin. Skin. I mean, you know, teeth doesn't have skin, but that's fine. It's fine. You know, it. Uh, I don't think either one makes sense. So this is, I can tell you this. <laughs>